Hi guys, welcome back to my Smell Good Fragrances review and today I'm going to do a really special video that you can see I'm wearing pink because I'm following this channel on YouTube called Pink's a New Black for raising awareness of the breast cancer and thank my friend Paloma for tagging me for this and I'm just really honored to be a small part of it before showing my bottles I want to send my support, my love, and all of the positive vibes to all of the breast cancer patients out there. And please stay strong, staying positive, and staying happy because stress is our worst enemy. And to all the women out there, please take care of yourself, doing regular health shake, committing to all the healthy lifestyle, and don't forget to stay happy again, no matter what people think about it. Just staying happy, being around with positive people. Because again, stress is our worst enemy for our health. And now the first part I want to show you is the British Spear Fantasy Naughty Remake. Is this a little bit more major version of original? It smells really close to original. I think it's removed the plastic light shade notes in here. So it's still keeping like cupcake, vanilla, uh, sorry, cupcake, caramel, chocolate. A little bit of burnt sugar even in here. It doesn't listen to notes, but it's really like burning super very notes in here. So sweet. Not a big fan of sweet sand anymore, so I don't wear it anymore. Mm, you can see here. Next bottle is this one. Ooh. It's a, another similar color, black and pink, called Notorious from the House of Pandora. Sands from the Middle East. And it's a clone house. This is my first one from the house, and it's a clone of like Dior fire range. And this one is it. Beautiful. If you love Dior, definitely get this one. It's this beautiful leathery iris leaf and woody nose and lavender. Is this and it's opening is a lot of stitches also. It's just a beautiful complex scent with a lot of lot of notes in there. It's this really really perfectly masculine, beautiful for colder weather. Oh, I don't have any sweet. Okay, hmm. next bottles. Another beauty from the Middle East, from the house of Kalai. It's my first one from the house, anyways. It was a blind buy. It's called Rose and Romance. Before buying it, I I picked it. It was a really rosy, rosy scent, but turned out it's a beautiful, beautiful white floral balm. It smells really close to Gucci Bloom with jasmine and tuberose as a dominant. And this uh, hints of like sweet notes in here. I'm not sure either sugar or honey or vanilla. But it's really sweet white floral. It's so beautiful though. It's like the cheaper, cheaper outer for the Gucci Bloom. I bought it for like $16, I remember. Next one. Oh, this one from Middle East also. Actually, another one from the house of Louis Cogdean, the second purchase from the house, and I love this house a lot. This one called Incredible Oud. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Incredible Oud. In the pink, black pink color again. Actually, there's no Oud. Yeah, it's called Incredible Oud, but literally, there's no Oud at all. Is it? Right away to your nose, it smells like Alien from Theory Mugler. Mm. It's so close to Aliens. It's no wood at all. It's like Jasmine and Woody nose in here. And Amber is also. I can't smell the wood though. I don't know why. Do they call it wood or they put it wood into the nose? I cannot smell any. But it's really beautiful. Alternative for Alien for way cheaper price. This one you can find on the website for less than $30, I don't remember. And the last one is my favorite favorite. I'm not a biggest fan of feminine scents much. I still own some, of course, but this one is is a exception. This is from the house Alexandria called Lady Dinah, you see? It's a pink logo in here, but actually it's it's a clone from our favorites, Delena from the House of Puff on the Molly. The pinkiest, pinkiest bottles of all of the pink bottles out there. And the most beautiful feminine scents out there I ever tried. And this one is a beautiful rose. And really 
with sweet roses, leeches, and it's really yummy somehow. It's musky also. I don't know how can describe the sense the best the best combo fruity rolls ever I ever tried. My second one would go for the Gucci Absolute Thumb and this one the first one. And the original really pink. This one a little bit pink, but the original is just so pink. I said all the pinkest bottles in all of the pink bottles out there. And it's the most beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous feminine sets out there. It actually can suit for all of the women, all of the age, and you still, still nail it. Like no matter where you go, you can go on dating, go to work, and you can go to business meeting. This sounds just like it's just so convenient to use anytime, anywhere, in any age. It doesn't matter. And it's always really sexy, beautiful, cute, elegant, feminine, everything in one word. In you know, like all oh, the most beautiful words you can do price in this sense. I love this one a lot. And it's like, it's really close original, guys. If you don't want to pay for Puffo Namali Diana one, just get this one. Like Alexandria Lady Diana. This can be close to 95%. I actually compare them side by side. It's a little bit like more, this one a little bit more like, I think it's more like fruity for the opening, but drying down is exactly just. I cannot say the same because it my first time it was really my first time trying it but it's like 95% close and the performance 10 out of 10 so get this one ladies you will love it I don't think anyone would hate it even me I'm not a biggest fan of feminine sense but I'm still love this one a lot and if you're watching like I would love to see like more videos of was the same hashtag is going on to raise more awareness for the breast cancer out there and thank you guys for watching and see you next time